It's time for this week in Falcons Athletics, presented by Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin. And this week, we highlight women's volleyball and men's soccer. My name is Matt Menzel, and I'll be joined by junior middle blocker Noel Smith as the women's volleyball team is home for the first time here in 2024. Coming up tonight, we'll talk more about a big night here inside the newly renovated John Book Fieldhouse as the Falcons, not only as their home opener, but their conference opener as they entertain the Rockford University Regents. Things get started shortly after 7 p.m. But, Noel, you take a look at the, the past weekend and a challenging slate for the Falcons for a second consecutive year, a challenging non-conference schedule. And you guys were down at Whitewater taking on a couple of top 25 opponents on top of the fact you went five sets against UW Stout. And obviously some tough losses, but but what do you gain from those experiences? Yeah, um, we gain that we can stay with the top teams. Uh, we put in a lot of effort, and we were in there the whole time, and we never felt truly defeated the whole throughout our matches. So that was always a good thing to learn from it. Right now, the team sits with four victories and seven defeats, and it's a young roster. I mean, half the roster is brand new, but but are you seeing growth from this team? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've only been playing for like four or five weeks, and it's already a tremendous amount of growth that we've seen. It's great. I got to believe, too, with being on the road for the first few weeks, the chemistry has been built. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a strong chemistry. I'm very happy with where we're at, and it can only go up from here. A couple of weeks ago, you guys were in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, for a tournament. You're from Iowa. What Was that special? Yeah, it was great. I mean, my family was able to come up, and I was able to see it. So it was kind of like a home turf a little bit, even though it wasn't tr truly home. But it was fun. Hot off the press, you're about to be named the NAC Defensive Player of the Week. What's that mean to you? Oh, that that's exciting. I, you know, I'm really happy, you know. Couldn't have asked for a better team to bring me along with the journey. It's great. And you look, last year you led the team in blocks. This year you lead the team in blocks. What's the method? What are you looking for as you go up for that, that block? Uh, you know, I'm just looking for any touch, you know, just to help my defense in the back so that way you can slow the game down so that way we can execute a kill. And you look at, okay, now you look at the schedule ahead and now getting the conference play. And we mentioned tonight here inside the newly renovated John Book Fieldhouse, the first of a three-match homestand. First of all, got to believe it's exciting to be finally back home and being in front of the home crowd. Yeah, I know. Vibes are great. We're looking forward to a great night, able to see everybody and everybody's able to see us. And we hope that you will come early because there's going to be a special ribbon-cutting ceremony. That ceremony begins around 645, and we thank all of those that have made this possible in a short turnaround. But the John Book Fieldhouse looks phenomenal. Your thoughts on what this place looks like now? It's great. It, it looks tremendous. I could not have asked for any better. It looks awesome. I love it so much. Yeah, if you were here and haven't been here since last year, when you come in here, you should be wowed. I mean, this place looks phenomenal. Uh, uh, new look for the John Book Fieldhouse. It's celebrating now 35 years. And again, ribbon cutting ceremony at 645. The match will start shortly after 7, the conference opener. Your thoughts on the NAC? You've been you know, around the team now the last couple of years, but but what do you expect when you get in the conference play? Uh, it's definitely some difficult teams. Uh, not all teams are going to give us the same uh, goals that we're going to try to reach, but you know, it's going to be great. We're going to learn from every single game, and we're going to just grow as we keep going, and hopefully we can put up some nice wins. When you take a look at this three-match homestand, besides the fact the, the Falcons take on Rockford tonight, 12 noon on Saturday against Carroll University, and next Tuesday the homestand wraps up with a 7 o'clock start against the Lake Forest College Foresters. I'll wrap it up by asking you some of the goals you have for yourself and maybe the immediate future. Yeah, I would love to be able to win the conference tournament. I think that's going to be great, or even win the regular season conference. I think that's going to be great for us as a team. Um, and me personally, I think it's great if we – if I um, just bring it out and help my team out throughout their games so that, so that we can win. And you certainly are when it comes to that block. And, again, the NAC Defensive Player of the Week right here, Noel Smith. Thanks a lot for your time. All the best of the team. Yeah, thank you. When we come back, we will turn our attention to men's soccer, a busy week for the men's soccer team as well as we continue with this week in Falcons Athletics presented by Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin. I can't imagine being any other profession than an orthopedic surgeon. We have the privilege and we have the responsibility to make people better. We've been fortunate enough to take care of professional athletes. We've also been fortunate enough to take care of our neighbors and friends who trust us to give them back their life. One of the main reasons I came here was because this is the way healthcare is meant to be delivered. Being devoted exclusively to orthopedic care means that we can uh, focus on delivering specialized care for every patient. And that includes not only the surgeons and the, the physicians, but also anesthesia, controlling pain, the nurses, uh, and the scrub techs, uh, and everyone in, in the recovery is, is dedicated to treating conditions that are very similar for our people. Our tagline is an uncommon focus on you. 
we think the focus on the patient experience is what sets us apart. Before we make any process or clinical decision at the hospital, we start with the same question. Is this what's best for the patient? If we can't answer yes, we move on to the next idea. Our nurses provide care for no more than three patients per shift, whereas other facilities they might provide care for seven or even eight patients per shift. We think this personalized care is what sets us apart from others. I think that dedication to our patients is our number one focus. And you know, you can technically do a good operation, but if you're not centered on the patient, they're not necessarily going to have a great outcome. The Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin is physician owned. It's physician led. We have the responsibility to make the right decision for every patient. We also have the freedom to make the right decision for every patient. The physicians and staff collaborate through regular meetings, um, weekly and monthly, and with a relatively small team, we're able to change the way we do things if we need to tweak something to make it perfect. The facility specifically was designed so that quality could be measured and maintained and sustained. When you have 7,000 patients a year receive their surgery here, it's important that patient number one and patient number 7,000 receive the same care. We place an extremely high priority on the patient experience here. We send surveys to each and every person that receives care at our hospital. Those survey results come back directly to me. I review them and share them with our senior leadership, as well as the staff and the physicians that provide the care to those patients. There's almost 5,000 hospitals in the country that are measured. The Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin measures number one, not number two, not number three, not runner-up, number one in patient satisfaction in the state of Wisconsin for the last 10 years running. Continue with this week in Falcons Athletics, presented by Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin. We now highlight men's soccer as they get ready to open up conference play this week at Benedictine at home against Aurora, coming up at 1 o'clock at Fitting Field on Saturday. And I'll be joined by a freshman forward and Logan Walker as the Falcons are coming off a 1-1 draw in the Oktoberfest Cup battle. That was down in Glendale on Saturday against Carroll University. How was that atmosphere? Yeah, that was uh, something I've never experienced before. Um, definitely as a freshman, it's just... It's crazy. And, and, and with that 1-1 one, one draw, and based on the, the fact the Falcons won the year before, they retained the Oktoberfest Cup, what was, I guess, going through your mind as you're warming up and, you know, it's starting to, to fill in and all of a sudden there's fans all over the place, there's no parking. What's kind of going through your mind as you're preparing for the matchup? I mean, as a little kid, uh, I've always dreamed of the college experience. So just being out there with the guys and just all together, team experience, I mean, it was amazing. And for you, you've you obviously just started your collegiate career. What's been the biggest adjustment for you so far going from high school to college? You know, definitely just the speed of play. Um, you know, just getting used to the college gameplay style. And you look at that that matchup against the, the Pioneers on Saturday. You scored the goal. I mean, you scored the, the Falcon goal, giving them a one nothing lead, which came in the, the 40th minute. Describe that goal. Um, you know, definitely, definitely different than any other goal I've scored before. Um, just... It's God's path, the way he put me in there, so just all glory to him. What was the feeling for you just knowing that, hey, your first collegiate goal, I mean, it's pretty special. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. I mean, it's something I probably will never experience again, so, yeah. How about for you from a confidence standpoint? Is your confidence growing as you get more comfortable? Oh, yeah. Us and the guys, we're, we're ready to attack the conference. I mean, everything's just going forward right now. You look right now, okay, some tough – some tough results for the Falcons, 0-2-2 two, and two coming into this week. But you guys are close, aren't you? Oh, yeah. We're, we're knocking on the door. We're, we're ready to get, go get them. And you're going to be a big part of the attack. This is expected to be a very explosive offense. How explosive, in your opinion, can this offense be? I guess you guys are just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> and, and that we will as the, the Falcons get ready for a Benedictine. That's going to be a matchup on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And then at home against Aurora, a team that's predicted to finish among three teams for first place in the ANAC on Saturday at 1 o'clock. What do you expect? Obviously, you've played conference games before going back to your high school days and, and, and club, but, but is there a different intensity to conference action? Definitely. I mean, we all just want, want to go and get it. I mean, as a team, it's just that's the main goal. So, 
outside of team goals, how about for you individually? What are you hoping to accomplish here in this first collegiate season? I mean, the start of the season was to get my first goal, so I guess I'm just going to have to keep racking those up. <laughs> now you got to get two, three, and four in there after. Get Benedictine again, the 7 o'clock matchup on Wednesday. They have a couple of victories, a couple of defeats, and one tie. How much fun is it to play? You've only had one opportunity to play Fitting Field so far. It came in the season opener against Lawrence back on the, the 30th of August. You finally get the opportunity to play back there again on Saturday. Fill the Hill is the, is the, the mantra, if you will. Do you love playing here? Is, is, is that a unique atmosphere? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just everyone comes together. It's a great atmosphere. I love it. Well, Logan, all the best to you and the team. And, again, you can see him in action coming up on Saturday. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And it's a busy week for Falcon Athletics here on the Mequon campus. As ultimately the team, uh, the, the university is hosting eight sporting events. So you look for women's soccer Wednesday, hosting Benedictine at 4 p.m., hosting Aurora at 3.30 on Saturday. Friday, ACHA hockey is at the Ozaki Ice Center against the Wisconsin Badgers at 3.30. And then field hockey has a couple of home matchups uh, this weekend with Mary Washington on Saturday at 12 noon and then center 11 a.m. coming up on Sunday. Thanks for watching this week's edition of This Week in Falcons Athletics presented by Orthopedic Hospital of Wisconsin.